Deuteronomy 21.14 Vehaya im lo chfatztaba veshilachta lenafsha umechor lo timcharena bachesev lo titamerba tachat asher inita so in today's verse, we've got a lot of verbs here. So let's let's get rolling here. We've got uh, the beginning here is a vekatal. The verbal root is haya, as you can see there. And this is just a generic, and it shall come about. We've got the call stem. And it shall come about if you do not take pleasure in her, or you do not find favor in her, uh, you do not delight in her. Here's a call Perfect. It's a 2ms. Notice the ta ending and the verbal root is chafatz to delight. If you do not delight in her, and then we get the apodosis here with this vekatal. This is a pl perfect 2ms plus a 3fs pronominal suffix, and the verbal root here is shalach. Then, then with that apodosis, if you do not delight in her, then you shall send her to her life, to her nefesh. And this is just an idiomatic way, send her to her life, meaning to send her on her way. Then we get, u makor lo timcharena. So, and selling, you shall not sell her. Three FS pronominal suffix here. The verbal root in both of these cases is mem kaf arish. This one is an infinitive absolute in the call. And then here we have a 2ms imperfect uh, of the same verbal root in the call with that suffix. Negation here, lo plus the indicative is a strong command. Add the infinitive construct to that, it gets even stronger. So, and selling, you shall not sell her for money. The idea here would be you shall by no means sell her for money. Next, we get a further description of selling her for money. You shall not trade her. Here the verbal root is ayin mem reish. It's a hit pael. Notice the hit here at the front uh, with the tav preformative. We're getting that 2ms again. You, you shall not, um, you shall not trade her. And then notice, of course, the distinctive dagesh there in the R2. Uh, hit amer. You shall not trade her. This idea of trade would be um, something akin to selling her for money. And then we get tachat asher, which put together would be something like since, or we might say instead of which, or uh, because, something of that nature, since you afflicted her or oppressed her, humiliated her, something like this. The verbal root here is ana, and notice we are in the pl. This is a pl perfect, 2ms, there's the, there's the ta, ending again, the tasa formative, third feminine singular suffix, and then notice in this third hey verb that we get the yod that drops in there. So you shall not trade her since you have afflicted her.